In February of 2017, I released a video asking if Yandere Simulator would benefit from the addition of a small town. I arrived at the conclusion that building a small town would take way too much time, and that it would be far more practical to build a single street instead. On this street, the player would be able to buy things from various stores. But this raised an important question. How would Yandere-chan earn money to buy things? I proposed the idea of allowing Yandere-chan to work at a part-time job, such as a maid cafe. To make sure that the part-time job wouldn't take up too much development time, I suggested that it could be a simple 2D minigame. After that video was released, I didn't really put any further thought into the idea of including a small town or a street in Yandere Simulator. I already had a huge checklist of items to work on, and I didn't want to make it any longer. So I put the idea of a small town out of my mind. But every now and then, I would think about the Maid Cafe minigame and what it might be like. Even though I wanted to make it, I couldn't justify spending any time working on it when I still had so many other features to work on. Fortunately, another programmer generously volunteered to make the Maid minigame for me. As a result, Yandere Simulator has a cool new feature this week, without taking any of my time or attention away from Osana. A new option is now available in Yandere Chan's room. You can now choose to leave your home and go work a part-time job at a maid cafe. The gameplay is simple. Take orders from customers, deliver the orders to the chef, and bring meals to customers. This customer ordered ice cream. So let's go over to the chef and tell him about it, so that he'll start cooking some ice cream on the stove. There, it's done. Here's your freshly cooked ice cream. The difficulty level that you choose will determine how many customers you have to deal with. Juggling lots of customers and remembering all of their orders can be pretty challenging. If you make a customer wait too long or deliver the wrong order, they will get angry and leave. If this happens five times, you get a game over and you are sent home without being paid. If the time runs out, it means that you have successfully completed your shift and you will receive money based on the difficulty level you chose and how quickly you were able to deliver each order. Oh. That's another new aspect of Yandere Simulator from today onwards. Money. From now on, you will see some new information being displayed at the top right corner of the screen. How much money you have in your possession. Because this is a very new feature, there are currently very few ways to spend your money. When you're at school, the only things that you can buy are drinks and snacks from vending machines. But when you're at home, there is a completely different way to spend your cash. Online shopping. If you access Yandere-chan's computer at night, you can visit an online store that sells a variety of different items. Well, yeah, there's currently only one item, but eventually there will be all sorts of stuff here. Remember the side quest where you learn that Kokona's father is in debt to a loan shark? and you kidnap the loan shark's daughter and hold her hostage until he agrees to erase the debt? This side quest involves filming a video of the hostage using a video camera on a tripod. But how did Yandere-chan get it? Where did it come from? This is an example of something that might need to be purchased from an online store in order for the player to complete a side quest. Let's say you find a screwdriver in the science club, use it to commit murder, and dispose of it when you're done. Then, the next day, you decide to sabotage a power strip in order to create an electrified puddle of water. This would require a screwdriver, so you go to the science club to grab the screwdriver. But it's not there, because you destroyed it yesterday. In Yandere Sim, when you destroy a weapon, it's gone permanently. It won't respawn the next day. But many weapons have important utilities connected to them, such as box cutters and screwdrivers. Destroying one of these items could drastically reduce the number of options available to you on subsequent days. So 
how could you solve this problem? I think I have the solution. Allowing the player to replace items they have destroyed by purchasing new ones from the online store. This is just one example of how the online store can benefit the player. It's possible that many of the items that are sold through the store will exist for the explicit purpose of helping the player climb out of a hole they've dug themselves into. Over the past two weeks, I've been working on Osana and Raibaru, but I can't show you what I've accomplished because I don't want to spoil the surprises that I have planned for Osana's week, and I don't want to reveal Raibaru's weaknesses. My next goal will be to implement Osana's matchmaking suitor and then implement her Befriend Betray event. But after I've accomplished these goals, I'm not sure if I should make a video about them or keep them shrouded in complete secrecy. Actually, at this stage of the game's development, it's going to be pretty difficult to keep making progress report videos on a regular basis since almost everything I'm working on right now is a spoiler or a surprise or something that the player should have to figure out on their own. At the beginning of this year, I described some videos that I was interested in making. A video about the history of Yandere Simulator's development. A video about the things I wish I'd done differently. A video about other game prototypes that I made before Yandere Simulator and a video where I talk about one of the games that inspired Yandere Simulator. Now that I've reached a point where I can't show you what I'm working on because of spoilers and surprises, the next few videos that I release might be about subjects related to Yandere Sim rather than traditional progress reports. Speaking of subjects related to Yandere Sim, I recently worked together with a very talented artist to create a short manga that reveals the backstory and identity of Nemesis, the girl who hunts you in mission mode. Please visit my blog at yanderidev.wordpress.com and check it out. With that, I think it's time to wrap up the video and get back to work. Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator. Hmm? Hmm. 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 <laughs> nah. Any Japanese schoolgirl characters are going to share certain physical attributes that are commonly found in that archetype. There's nothing unusual about that. Any similarities are purely coincidental. Er 